Hello and welcome to Reading Pop Warner A broadcast here on September 27th. We've got a great one for you today, folks. The 2-0 Reading Rockets take on the visiting 2-0 Everett. This matchup is between the two teams who've won the last three national titles between them. Of course, Everett won last year, Reading the year before that, Everett the year before that. Uh, Reading is going to face a tough challenge this year, uh, this game with a team that probably for the first time all year is faster and bigger than them in most positions. So what can Reading do in response? What are they going to do when they have their first taste of adversity this year? Is, uh, we're all anxious to find out. If they can rise to the occasion here, this will be a great game today. The coaches are preparing to go out for the coin toss. We have number seven, B.J. Gemilaro, number 10, Brendan De Silva, number 12, Dan McGrath, number 22, Colin Duras. Uh, they form the, the bulk of the offense for the uh, for the Reading Rockets. Some of the other players I'm gonna run down the roster here. Number eight, Jared Panucci. Number nine, Evan Long. Number 14, Vincent Sullivan. Number 23, Matt Gorman. Number 24, Lucas Lorenzo, who scored a touchdown last week. Number 32, Dominic DiCrescenzo. Number 40, Tom Keen. Number 43, Christian Trauger. Number 44, Jason Conroy. Number 50, Matt Hammond. Number 54, Ben Mason. Number 64, Jay Kajander. Trevor Zupon, number 65, is out this week. Number 70, Zach Barbo. Number 73, Jack Blumenshine. Number 84, Chris Chuli. I'm Josh Blumenshine on the play-by-play. Uh, -play. We also have here uh, Adam Hooker on the camera, as well as a little color this week. So the coin toss has been completed. Everett had won. They defer to the next half. Reading Rockets will receive the ball first, going from right to left on your screen. As we prepare for this game, both teams go to their uh, respective huddles. Going to see who can get pumped up the most. We're ready for a great game here today. Here we go with the kick. Back deep is De Silva and Gemilaro. The up backs, Dan McGrath in the middle, Colin Duras and Jason Conroy. The kick is deep. It's off BJ's hands. It goes all the way down to the three. He's going to pick it up there, follow his block, Brendan De Silva. He gets through one hole, makes a spin move, to, and he's brought down at the 13. So Redding starts very deep in their own territory. All right, as Redding comes to the, uh, the line for their first possession, long drives are going to be the key. Keep this Everett offense off the field, resulting in points. Redding spreads the receivers left and right with the Silva in the empty backfield. And Dan McGrath in motion. There's a snap from Chuli. De Silva follows McGrath off the right side. He's hit by the first defensive end, cannot get away for no gain on first down. The guys are going to have to hold the blocks today. That's for sure. Second and 10. Duras and Jim Malaro in the backfield. There's the snap. BJ takes it out to the left-hand side. He bounces it round one. He does not, he gets spun around. He's still on his feet, makes a move, and gets down to about the 18-yard line. So he's able to make something positive on that. Brings up a third and five. A first down here is key for Redding as they get started in this game. It's third and four, actually, from the 19. The snap to De Silva's high. He's going to go around the left side. There's one. He makes a play, but De Silva avoids the tackle and carries it across the 25-yard line. He's got the first down yardage. Riding Rockets needing to break arm tackles as they uh, uh, the initial blocks are, are not quite doing it. First down for the Rockets. It's a great effort by Silva. The cornerback for Everett, number one, has twice been burned out wide. He's holding his head a little bit. Not been able to make these tackles. First and 10 from the 25. The snap to BJ. He goes to the right side. Follows behind Duras. Redding, uh, he's able to get four yards on the pickup. Nice and methodical. Keep that ball on the ground. Keep moving it. Second and six. Redding comes to the line. 29-yard line. 
There's the snap around the left-hand side. He's got a room off tackle. Brendan De Silva busts through. He's got first down yardage and more to the 42-yard line. The blocking was solid that time. Ben Mason out there, number 54. Number 23, Matt Gorman. Number 70, Zach Barbo. You know, the guys looked a little timid on the first two plays, but after that, they're, they're really hitting these kids. Takes takes uh, a couple hits, and you're in the game. Absolutely. You're in the flow. All the butterflies are gone. <laughs> First and 10 Rockets from the 42. Matt Hammond, number 50, split out wide left. There's a snap to De Silva. He fouls on the left-hand side. There's a good initial hole. He makes a move. And one brings him down this time, but not before a pickup of four yards. Number one's getting a lot of action, the outside corner, right corner for Everett. You know, it's not a bad strategy. He's also starting quarterback. Put the kid to work on the defensive side. There you go. Second and six after the uh, first down carry by Brennan De Silva. Bring as a wing back right, that's Jack Blumenshine. Matt Hammond, the split end to the right. The snap is over BJ's head. We do not need that. He falls on it. He's able to recover at the 36. That'll put Redding in third and long, third and 15. Well, either they try and throw it third and 15, or uh, is it four down territory? They try and pick up two, yard, two uh, positive plays to get the first. There's the snap. Colin Ross hands to Brendan De Silva. He makes a move. He's able to pick up seven yards, make it fourth and looks like nine from the 43-yard uh, line. Looks as though he's going for it. Fourth and nine, Christian Trogger in now at number 43, split out wide right. Oh, we've got a false start by uh, Chris Julie there. They were trying to draw him off and get in a more positive uh, down and distance situation. That brings up fourth and 14. Redding still going for it on fourth and very long. Hope they've got a good play drawn up here. It's a pooch punt by Dan McGrath. So that kick hit the back of a lineman and Everett's gonna take over at the 31 yard line of Redding. So it started as a good drive, went, uh, went south there at the end. Yeah, the minimal mistakes today, they've gotta be kept to a minimum. Let's talk a little bit about Everett's offense. They run a unique bubble wing offense. Uh, you'll see here in a minute, everything is closed very uh, tightly at the snap, and they'll do a lot of sweeps and, and counters with uh, any of four or five different run running backs. Um, certainly not in this first play. I'm, they're splitting out their receivers left and right. Number one, the quarterback is under center with one wing back on the left. Number four motions to the left, he gets the pitch. Right there, Matt, Jay Kajander holds him up for the rest of the defense. Four Rockets are able to bring him down short of the first down mark, or short of actually the line of scrimmage. So I bring up second and 12. Good first play there. Strong Redding linebackers can finish him off if you just don't let him get outside. Everett comes to the line. Number one under center. The motion, the pitch, and he's outside that time. Dan McGrath chases him. He's able to bring him down to 25 with a solid tackle. Bring up third and four. Fearsome hit by number 12, Dan McGrath. As they break the huddle for third and four, that play could have gone for a lot more. Number one under center. 
Two receivers stacked up to the left. Motion, but no, the handoff on the counter for number 14. He runs into the heart of the defense and does not pick up first down yardage. It's two yards there, certainly close enough to try for. Fourth and two for Everett. Can Redding hold tough here, keep him off the board? Thomas Keen off. You got Ben Mason down in there. There's the snap. The handoff is botched, but 14 is able to slip through anyway. And he's brought down after first down yardage. Brendan De Silva on the tackle, but not before he picks up enough for the first down. It's Everett ball on the 13. A little bit of misdirection, uh, a little bit of confusion by Everett, but they were able to still find a seam in that uh, um, Redding defensive wall. Down there in the A-gaps right now, we've got 32, DiCrescenzo, number eight, Jared Panucci. This is the double wing uh, formation I was describing. Ball's oh. on the ground. Who's got it? Looks like Everett may have fallen on it. A bad snap. Second down for Everett. Those are the kind of breaks we need today. We've got to get that ball. we got to get down there, get low in the pile, and pull that ball away. Thomas Keene, number 40, is back on in the A-gap. B gaps, we got Vincent Sullivan, Sullivan 14, 32 down, DiCrescenzo, DiCrescenzo. Second and 11. Motion for four, we've got a flag, we've got a false start. Everett was jumpy. So now they're going back. Second and 17. Second and 17, under center. Four motions to the... He's going to pass. He's got to it up. And it's caught. And he's in for the touchdown. That was the play action. He fakes the pitch, turns around and throws the receiver on a, uh, a flag pattern. Everett breaks for the uh, extra point attempt. They're going for one. There's the inside, oh, the counter worked to a tee. Number seven scores. They have, when they do that fake pitch, they've got a number of things they can do off of that. One is a handoff on a counter going back the other direction. Yeah, everyone's got We saw both those plays here on this drive. Everyone's got to stay at home today. That's right, you've got your responsibility. I know coaches drilled that with the team. So uh, now they're seeing it and what it looks like when it's well executed. They've got to know their assignment and follow their man. That will be the end of the first quarter. Everett has the early lead, 7-0. As we mentioned at the outset, this is going to be the first time that Redding has faced some adversity. This is the first uh, time they've been down all year as we start the second quarter, 7-0. Receive the kick here from Everett. Be good to go down and get some points on the board, even this out. The kick is high. Dan McGrath has got it at the 30-yard line, and he takes off. Down the left-hand side, breaks one tackle, moves the pile down to the 42. Redding will take off there. First and 10 for the Rockets. McGrath, Duross, De Silva in the backfield. There's the snap, the handoff to Brendan De Silva. A great block by Christian Trauger. De Silva stays on his feet. He's got more first down yardage. He's past the 40. There was a flag on the play. It's coming back with a hold. Could not see who the guilty party was. Certainly the stock block on the outside was, was not it. That was a good, a good block. And Everett player is down. First and 15 now. Everett's having to sub in a couple people. They look a little disorganized. They had 12 players on the field and the coach calls timeout. Redding Rockets come to the line here. First and 15, following a holding penalty that negated the first down run by Brendan De Silva. The snap by Chuli's on point to De Ross. He hands to De Silva. He spins away from the first hit. Follows the block, he's still on his feet. He breaks through the line. He follows the downfield block. He's got 25, 
He's got 20 yards, a pickup down to the 42 yard line, first down for Reading Rockets. He is running hard today. Uh oh, what do we got? Someone's down. Time is called. Oh, fumble. We got a fumble right now. Everett has picked up the ball at the 42. Brendan comes off the field after a big hit by Everett after a big first down run. Teammates there to congratulate him. I wish we had the benefit of ex, uh, instant replay because I'm not sure he wasn't down before he let that ball go. But Everett takes over at their own 42 yard line. A defensive stop here is imperative for the Rockets. Absolutely. In the middle of the defense now, the middle linebacker, 54, Ben Mason. Here's the double wing. Three at the counter. Seven grabs him. BJ spin him down. The Rockets bring him down, but not after an eight-yard carry. Balls at midfield. Everett breaks the huddle. Second and two. And close to that double wing formation. 86, and then roll out by number three. He's chased by the Rockets. He finds the seam. He breaks it back. He cuts through. Ben Mason finally drags him down across the 30 to the 29 yard line. A huge gainer. 21 yards for Everett. Rockets need to reach deep right here. First and 10. Need a stop. Number one back under center. There's the snap, the pitch around to the left hand side. BJ's there. Can't get him. Makes a spin. Brought down by Jared Panucci at the 19. Looks like he's got first down yardage. Second and in inches for Everett. Brandon De Silva back on the field, the middle linebacker. Got Jake Jander out right, Colin DeRoss out left. The counter for 88, he uh, follows his blocks into the line. He's got a little bit, he's got enough for the first down, about three yards. Every ball, they're gonna spot it on about the 15 or 16 yard line. Then come Chuli and Sullivan. First and 10 Rockets. <clears throat> they split two receivers out left and two out right. I like Everett in this formation. We had better success against it earlier in the game. The one's back to pass. He's going to throw. He's out in front of his man. Coverage was tight there by uh, Evan Long, number nine. Second and 10. Everett scraps that formation back to the double wing. The pitch number seven. Colin Ross is there, meets him initially. He's able to spin away, but not from the rest of the team. Evan Long is there, number 12, Dan McGrath. They hustle it, wrestle him down after a short pickup, bringing up third and nine. Scratch at it's third and 10 from the 15. Redding needs to hold twice here, four down territory for, the, for Everett. There's the snap. He takes himself. He's going to throw. He can't find a man. He's got it up. And it's incomplete. A jump ball there that was knocked out. Jason Conroy, 44, on the coverage. Also, looks like number eight, Jared Panucci, was back there. Still, the receiver had a chance. He just couldn't bring it in. So that brings up fourth and 10. Fourth and 10. What's ever gotten their bag of tricks? Receivers split out two white, right, two left. Number one in the shotgun. There's the snap, he's back to throw. The fade route, and it's caught. A beautiful pass and throw. That looked like a college play right there. That was well done. 
That's tough to defend. Very tough to defend. The jump ball, tall receiver, got down the field, made a play. Coverage was there, just was not enough. And Everett goes up 13-0 with five and a half minutes to go in the first half. Everett breaks the huddle for the extra point. Their spread formation. It's back to throw, it's knocked down at the line of scrimmage. He's not able to complete that pass. So, small uh, cold comfort there for the Rockets. 13-0, they need to drive right here, and put the ball in the end zone, stay in this game. As Everett lines to kick up, uh, lines up to kick it off. I will say this, the Rockets in, in some way have stopped themselves on their first couple drives. Fumbles, penalties, uh, bad snaps. Uh, they've been able to drive it on Everett, and they need to take that and, and execute on this drive yeah. all the way through. Everett's the type of team that all the mistakes are magnified. That's right. There's the kick down the right-hand side. BJ grabs it on a bounce at the 24-yard line. Heads around to the left. Follows a block by De Silva. Still on his feet. He cuts it back across the 40. And he's dragged down just short of the midfield. Nice return by Gemilaro, taking him to the 49-yard line. The best starting field position for the Rockets today. Absolutely. Well, it's good to see De Silva back out there on offense, breaking the huddle. You got Christian Chauger, wide left. Jack Blumenschein wide right, Evan Long, and Colin Duras in the slot. McGrath back there with the Silva in the shotgun. On two, De Silva takes it himself. The keeper follows the McGrath's block, and he gets six yards on first down. Very solid play. Good blocks in the middle by Mason DiCrescenzo. Gemilaro. Coach Geiger calls timeout right now. Lucas Lorenzo, 24, just checked in at uh, left guard. They want to talk about this play, get that first down. Second and four. Redding spreads the receivers out left and right. In the backfield, the Silva. McGrath motions out to the left. And the throw back to him, he makes the catch, breaks off the initial hit. He's going to lose a yard on the play. Number one made a nice play out there to break that play up. He, he read it, made the initial hit. Third and four for the Rockets. Under four minutes remaining in the first half. Jason Conroy. The left tight end right now. DeRoss takes the snap, hands to BJ. On the left-hand side, a huge block by Dan McGrath, and he breaks it up out of, out, uh, out of bounds, but after first down yardage, the 37-yard line. First and 10 to Rockets. There's a snap, the pitch to De Silva. Around the right-hand side, he's got room to run. Oh, no, a couple missed blocks, and all he can get is two. That should have been a much much bigger, bigger gainer. The downfield blocks were missed. Rockets come to the line. Second and seven. Okay, actually, two-minute warning here now. There's a snap. Evan Long motions to the left. The snap to Brendan De Silva. He's mad immediately. The end flashed in uh, from the left-hand side, and then number one finished him off. So third and uh, third and eight or so for Redding. The defensive line's getting up the field pretty quick. Hmm. Be an area where we see a screen pass soon.
Brennan comes to the line. I'm noticing that they only have one man out right with uh, our two receivers out to the left-hand side. DeSilva's going to throw. He's going deep. He's got Colin Ross for the touchdown. Wow, what a play. Great throw by DeSilva. Great catch by Duras. He goes in. Adam, I don't know if you noticed, but they've left two corners to cover the two split wide receivers. Coach Geiger saw that Red, uh, Everett was not respecting the pass, and Redding makes him pay. 13 to 6 now. So, Redding lines up for the extra point. Christian Trauger to tack two points on. The hold is good. The kick is not good, and it's uh, caught by the Everett uh, defender in the end zone. So it's 13 to 6 with a minute remaining in the first half. Good drive by the Rockets, they're on the board. Ready to kick off here with a minute remaining. Christian Trauger boots it on the ground, it's a squibber. Number three, almost gets it. He does get it just in time. Brendan De Silva launched himself. So uh, from the 43 yard line, Everett will start there. Reading needs to keep them off the board before halftime. Everett does get the ball at the start of the second half. Ray looks like they've got some sort of a prevent defense going on here. Only four on the line. They've got uh, five linebackers and two deep safeties. Number seven, he looks to run. He avoids one tackler. Still on his feet for first down yardage to the 45. Brought down by De Silva. Looks like he was there. Maybe uh, Evan Long, B.J. Gemilaro. Referee winds the clock. The scoreboard says 45 seconds. I don't know if you can trust that in Pop Warner. Back in the shotgun, number one. He's back to throw. It's a little bit of pressure. Escapes the pocket. He throws. He's brought down by uh, De Silva at the 35-yard line. The referees are signaling a timeout for Everett. 32 seconds remaining. Adam, I don't know if you can pan and see how deep Duras and De Silva are. They are back at the three-yard line here as this uh, play starts. They're certainly respecting Everett's ability to throw deep. The ball's on the ground at the snap, but there's no pressure. He throws it up high. Duras is there for the interception. Stays on his feet. He breaks the tackle. A good block. He's still going. Getting to midfield. Down to the 38-yard line. The prevent defense worked. Clock says 15 seconds remaining. I imagine Coach Geiger is just going to run this out here for the first half. So as the clock winds down, that's the end of the first half. It ends on a good note. The prevent defense worked. Colin Duras fielded that like a punt and uh, was able to return it for about 30 yards. But so the end of the first half, Everett has the lead with 13. For the Reading Rockets have six. Everett will start the second half with the ball. We need another stop and then some good offense here to level this game out. A good effort. Well, as promised, this uh, battle between two heavyweights has been a, a great match so far. We start the second half with Everett Crimson Tide leading 13 to six. Christian Trauger ready to kick off here. Unbalanced line. The squibber on the left-hand side. Number 12, oh, 10 just barely gets it. Dan McGrath was right there. He's out of bounds at the 45. 
Though that is definitely a, a designed uh, semi onside kick. Uh, if 10 didn't field that cleanly, Dan McGrath was right there for it. So that's where Everett will take over at the 45 yard line. In the A gaps right now, you got Zach Barbo, number 70, number 54, Ben, Ma or 24, Lucas Lorenza. Ben Mason and DiCrescenzo in the B gaps. The double wing for Everett, number four, Motions. There's the snap. He breaks to the outside. He's chased by Conroy. Can't get him. Gemilaro makes the arm tackle. He's still on his feet. He's down to the 36-yard uh, line. That formation is giving the Rockets troubles. You could almost say there that there are a couple Everett players look like they were getting a little jumpy. You almost could have called a false start, but they didn't do it. 35-yard line, first down for Everett. The wide players right now are uh, Colin Duross and uh, Jake Kajander. They have their work cut out for him. There's the pitch to the right. A little bit of contain. He bounces it outside. Miss, slips one tackle. He's brought down by De Silva and McGrath, finishing him off at the 27. Good hit by Dan McGrath on number seven. But a good pickup brings up second and two. As you said, and we've got to keep that outside contained. Cannot let them get outside. Second and two for Everett. Redding looking for a, a negative yardage play here on second down. Seven motions. There's the fake, the handoff. Ben Mason pulls him backwards on the counter. That did not work that time. He had gap control and he made the play. Everett loses yardage on the play. Third and looks like six. Everett ball, third and six from the 31 yard line. Number one under center, the double wing. There's the, the pitch, number four. Brendan comes streaking through and they bring him down and Jebelar was there to help. A loss of three on the play. De Silva flashed through the line and made the tackle. And that puts Everett in fourth and, uh, fourth and eight. All right, in this instant, Redding has uh, four on the line, one middle linebacker, four medium depth linebackers, and two deep safeties. Fourth and eight, he's in the shotgun. He looks to throw. He's hit as he throws. The ball is, Kondra Ross does the right thing by dropping that ball. Redding gets the ball at the 34, or the 33 yard line on the loss of downs. A great stand by the tough Rockets defense there. Number one was hit as he threw. That ball was nowhere near an Everett receiver, although uh, Colin Duross knocked it down and Redding took over on downs. At the 33 yard line, they break the huddle. Chris truly centers the, the line here. Duross in the backfield with uh, Brendan De Silva. Jack Blumenshine wing back on the left here. There's the snap. He finds some blockers, but a nice tackle by number one. He was sure on that one. Brendan was able to get one yard. If he got past that guy, there was a lot of room to run. Second and nine. Take that back, it's second and eight. Hammond split out wide right. Duross and De Silva in the backfield. There's the snap direct to Brendan De Silva. He launches himself off right tackle. A great positive yardage carry on that, at least five yards down over the 40. That was set up a very manageable third and three. Third and three. Redding is strong to the right here. The snap, Brennan takes it himself, right off tackle, and he picks up at least six yards for the first down. No bones about it. Just smash mouth football right between the tackles for the first down. Running breaks the huddle now. First and 10 from their own 47. Matt Hammond split out wide left. 
There's the snap. BJ's got it himself. He covers it up. A stiff arm. The ball comes loose. Everett has the ball on the fumble on the 44-yard line. Number 11 got it for Everett. That play broke down. There was pressure on the left-hand side. Fumble's killing the Rockets. They got to take one back here. Strip that football. Everett spreads the receivers out here left and right. Number four motions. There's the pitch. He slips the first guy, but De Silva's there, and they bring him down three yards short at first. Actually, a loss of five on the play, second and 15. Definitely holding tough right here. We're going to need to keep them off the board this half. Three and a half remaining in the third quarter. Sullivan off, Panucci on. Second and looks like 12 or 13. They come out in the double wing formation. Watch the fake. There's the pitch. He's bottled up by Duras, and he's driven back. Another loss, two or three yards on the carry. Black shirts all over that play. Third and a long 16. The Rockets have figured something else, something out under uh, Coach Geiger here. They're keeping their assignments right now. Double wing. Third and 15. He he fakes and he's he's rolling out. He's way back. He's got a couple men deep. Out of bounds. Out of bounds on the catch. A good effort by number seven, but he was out of bounds when he caught that. That brings up fourth and 15. Fourth down. Looks as though Everett is going to punt. They're in punt formation. Number one does it all for them. He's the punter as well as the quarterback and the cornerback. Back deep is De Silva. There's the punt. It's a good one. Redding's just going to let it go. Takes a Redding bounce, and it's down at the 23-yard line. So that's where Redding will take over again with a couple minutes remaining in the third quarter, still down one touchdown. First and 10 for the Rockets at the 23. Momentum seems to be shifting a bit as Everett can't move the ball right now on the Rockets. But they still need to get that extra score. Ball's loose. Colin fell on it, but they're going to start this drive backed way up. That's on the 16. Second and 16 for the Rockets as they break the huddle. Receivers spread left and right. The officials are saying they're calling timeout for Everett. Ray breaks the huddle. Second and 15. De Silva at quarterback. A little bit of confusion for the Rockets. Blumenshine in motion to the right. There's the snap. De Silva's back to pass. He's got a man deep. It's Dan McGrath. Oh, just over his head. A good play design. Everett had it guarded, but uh, the pass was almost there. So that brings up third down, 15. Third down now. <laughs> Two receivers split. Left and right. That was a screen play for McGrath. We have a flag on the ground, but McGrath flashes up the middle. He's got the first down. Hope this play stands. I'm afraid that perhaps Redding was not lined up correctly. No, they've got offsides on Everett. So that play will stand for a first down.
So on the screen play, the middle screen to Dan McGrath, that play picked up 17 yards for a rocket first down, the 35-yard line now. First and 10 for the Rockets now. We got about 50 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Score is still 13 to six. Rockets trying to move the ball downfield. De Silva to throw. He's got a man deep. Oh, over Evans' head. Blumenshine was in the area. Second and 10. Rock has been playing the passing game here. And De Silva keeps it himself around the right side. He's able to get six yards. Bringing up a third and four. Definitely four down territory. I think the clock might run out on the third quarter here. As we start the fourth quarter, the Rockets will go from your left to your right on your screen. They're facing uh, third and four right now from the 41 yard line. Definitely four down territory for the Rockets right here. So two cracks at getting this first down and keeping the drive alive. They're down one score, 13 to six. Need to punch the ball in. In the backfield, we got McGrath, Du Ross, and De Silva. The snap direct to De Silva. He follows a horde of blockers right up over midfield for the first down. Great blocking on the line that time. Chris Chuli at center. Jason Conroy's down there. Got Jay Kajander. Ray breaks the huddle. Trogger split out wide to the left. DiCrescenzo is the right tackle, number 32. The snap to Duras, he hands to De Silva. Not much there. The ball's oh. on the ground again. Everett received it. You can't put the ball on the ground three times and expect to win. Everett's recovered all three fumbles so far. Putting more pressure on that Rockets defense here one last time. Rockets need to dig deep right now. Come up with one more stop. Whatever they got, 45 yard line for Everett. This is where it could go bad. The double wing, he hands it over to the left tackle. Brought down by BJ Gemolaro after a gain of about four. Second and six for Everett now. Need a stop. There's the snap, the ball's on the ground. Looks like he got it, a bad snap. But that, they lost uh, a yard on the play, so that makes it third and seven. Big difference though, ever recovering their own fumbles as well as recovering ours. Third and seven for the Rockets as the clock winds down under eight minutes. They've got their uh, three receivers trips spread white. Number seven reaching out that way. We've got a uh, fall start on Everett as they were not set when that ball was snapped. So that makes it third and 12. Good thing too is I think that play was destined to get, pick up some good yardage. Yeah, they had a lane on the right side. Rockets employ more of a prevent defense right now. Ben Mason in the middle there. Stacked receivers up to the left-hand side. Dan McGrath is over here too. There's the snap. Number seven prancing out to the left-hand side. He can't find one to run. He cuts it back. 
Oh, he makes a good move, and he's got first down yardage before he's finally brought down by oh. Dan McGrath. The ball, ball is loose, loose, and Rockets finally have the ball. A fumble. The officials confirm Rocket ball at the 40-yard line. So many cuts that by the end of it, they're getting a little loosey-goosey with the ball. That was the case for the Everett ball carrier, number seven. So with seven minutes remaining, the Rockets go back on offense. Ball security is the name of the game. Seven minutes remaining, 13 to six. Rockets need to drive down and score. Receivers split left and right to a side. De Silva and McGrath in the backfield. There's a snap. De Silva's going to throw. He's got a man. Throws deep. And oh, just off the fingertips. Is that Evan Long out there, number nine? Still, I prefer to see the run right now. Yeah. Want to see him punch it right up the gut. The offensive line has dominated in the second half. That's right. Second and ten. Snap to Duras, he hands it to Silva off the left-hand side. He's violently brought down after a three-yard carry. Third and seven. Third and seven. Duras, McGrath, De Silva in the backfield. The snap directly to De Silva. He pushes up through the line. Good forward carry of maybe four yards. So that'll bring up a fourth and uh, looks like two and a half or three yards. Got to go for it right here. 47 yard line. Line to gain is the 49. Big number 77 comes on for Everett. Big play here, fourth and two. There's a snap to Silva, takes himself up into the line. He shoots down through. He looks like he's right there. Tries to inch forward. It's going to depend on the spot. First down. Referee signals first down. Just barely, I tell you what. Ball's at the Reading 49. Six minutes and 20 seconds. They need to keep pushing these guys, keep pushing that tired Everett defense been on the field most of the second half. Snap to Duras, he pitches to uh, De Silva out on the right-hand side. He flashes outside, he's got first down yardage. He's over the 40-yard line to the 38, before finally being brought down by 24. He is such Ride a, that bell cow back. He is such a patient runner. He follows his blocks and gets up in the hole. First down, Rockets. Putting pressure on that Everett D right now. First and 10 from the 38. Rockets call timeout. There's a little bit of uh, confusion in the, f the formation and the personnel package. Rather than take a penalty or have someone miss an assignment. Six minutes remain, it's 13 to six Everett. First and 10 from the 38. Have long motions. Right up the gut to Colin Duras. A great run. Right over the heart of the defense. Nine yards to the 29-yard line, bringing up second and one. Nothing fancy about that. Just take it right up the gut. Uh, the big guys are just pushing them around inside right now. They are pushing them around. I see a lot of hands on hips. They That's are right. tired. That's right. Everett looking tired. Keep it simple. Big number 84, Chris Chuli. 32, DeCrescenzo, we got 44, Jason Conroy, 54, Ben Mason. The snap to Duras is a bit high, but he's able to move forward. He's got first down yardage down to the 27-yard line. First and 10, Rockets.
This time, Duross is deep. Evan Long, number nine, and Brendan De Silva up back. Snap goes to De Silva. He's looking to throw. He's got a man deep. No, it's intercepted at the five yard line. McGrath was definitely behind, but the, the pass did not get to him. That's a tough turnover. Three minutes remaining. Everett has the ball on the five yard line. Well, can convince them to go, or can get them to go three and out. They can still get the ball with good field position, but their time is running out on the Rockets. They only have maybe one more possession if they have if they stop them. First and ten from the four yard line for Everett. Clock says 3.07. Everett spreads three receivers to the left, one to the right. Number seven in the backfield by himself. He's going to take it out to the right. He's brought down by B.J. Gemolano for a loss down to the two-yard line. Great open field tackle. A great open field tackle is right. He spun him down. Another loss or two is, a, is safety territory. But mainly ro the Rockets just need the ball back. Maybe Everett see. right now does not look like they, the same team that we saw in the first half. No, not at all. Hopefully they'll stay at that uh, shotgun formation. We'll see one go through the hands. <laughs> that would be all right. So a generous spot in the second and ten in the double wing formation for Everett. Number one seems to be their best player under. Oh. And number three jumps. So that'll back him up half the distance to the goal line. I got to say that right now the Rockets, they have belief, they have momentum. They just need that ball back. Referees have signaled two-minute warning. Second and 12 for Everett. Motion. The pitch to the right. And he's met there by De Silva, but oh. he gets out of it. 54. Ben Mason lays a hit on him. Blow the whistle, for goodness sakes. He's bottled up at the six-yard line. That'll bring third and still a good amount of, looks like about eight. Timeout. With 157, Redding had called the timeout, so it's now third and eight. Double wing for Everett. This game has been a heavyweight Titan. There's the counter. He's hit by De Silva and McGrath. He is close to the first down. He may have it. Of course, he's. With 150 to go, Everett takes the ball, first down. Rockets need to uh, tackle the football right now. He's held up immediately, no gain on the play. Slow whistle by the refs. Second down. It's about 130 right now. Don't know if we're gonna see the Rockets get the ball back. That timeout they burned earlier on that formation. Yeah, be nice to have it right now. That's right. Second and ten. Everett's just trying to keep the ball right now, and they take the the knee with the victory formation. And a game in which the Rockets outgained Everett. 
in most phases of the game, they outplayed him. There's no doubt that rocking, Rocket D really uh, found the answers after the first half. However, you can't turn the ball over four times and expect to win. Not at all. They take a knee. And there's the ball game. They're going to shake hands. Well, I don't know if there are moral victories, but that game was a uh, well-fought battle by both teams. The Rockets really showed up to play today. Yeah, the guys look good. Not the way they envisioned it turning out, but. They can hold their heads high. They played well. Two good teams, guys. Two good teams is right. Yeah. And maybe they'll see each other again in the playoffs. Who knows? Absolutely. It'd be fun. Well, as you see the uh, players shake hands going through the line. We look forward to uh, seeing you again next week. Thanks for tuning in to this broadcast of Reading Rockets Pop Warner Football. For Adam Hooker on uh, camera, this has been Josh Blumenshine. Had a good time on a beautiful day for football. Uh, enjoy your week.